Hi, this is Kirk with iRecover Data. I'm here to give you some tips on how to clean your laptop during this COVID virus pandemic. Now, we want to find a place where it can work really good, nice flat surface, put down the laptop, get our cleaning solutions together. This alcohol right there, small spray bottle I have with water and alcohol and a cleaner. Just don't use something that has an abrasive, like a tile cleaner, that sort of thing. Paper towels and microfiber cloth if you have it. Don't forget your charger because we're going to be cleaning that in the end. And a vacuum cleaner. First thing I like to do is remove the battery so that we don't accidentally power on the system when we're cleaning. There's two tabs on the bottom. Move them towards the unlock position. You're just going to see little icons that show a padlock that's unlocked. So move them both or just one if you have it, usually there's two. I have to slide one or to the left all the way, then it allows me to slide out the battery. Battery's out, now we're safe. I can vacuum out the grills on the bottom. It's good if you have a brush attachment to a hose canister type vacuum. If you don't, just use your hand if you'd like as a buffer so that you're not scratching up the laptop, especially when you get to the inside to do the keys. So I'm going to vacuum that up. That's good. All clean. We're pretending. Okay. Do the keys. Again, my hand as a buffer. I don't happen to have the brush attachment on it. Clean it up good. All right. Then. I'm going to clean the outside. I like to start at the bottom. I'm spraying the paper towel directly. Now, if you really want to completely disinfect this, you would be using alcohol directly, dabbing that onto the paper towel or microfiber cloth and using that. Or if you'd like to stretch it a little bit, use alcohol and water. So I'm just going to be using the green cleaner and clean the bottom all the way around and the edges. Don't forget the edges. There we go. To the top. And if we didn't do it on the one side, when it's flipped over, do the edges now. Open it up. Fold your paper towel to a nice clean spot. Spray the cleaner on it directly. Scrub everything down. Pay special attention to the touch pad because even if you don't use that to control your laptop, your hands are resting on it. Scrub that good. Power button is a good thing to scrub, especially if you are able to remove the battery. Scrub that and your keys on the keyboard. Now the best thing to do is to start at a diagonal, upper left or upper right, whichever, and then go towards you. Best reason for that is so that you can have a smooth motion for cleaning, scrubbing the keys. And it also tends not to rip up your paper towel too much. All right, we're all done with that. Now, when it comes to the screen, again, we don't want to spray that directly. Do this only if you have alcohol available. You would be using uh, one cleaner to maybe get the grime off and then alcohol afterwards and spraying the towel or microfiber cloth, preferably, directly. This is alcohol and water or alcohol. So scrub that down. I'll reiterate again, do not use the cleaner only if you have clean uh, this type of cleaner itself without alcohol. Why? Because if we leave cleaner residue on there, it's going to etch, make a haze, really screw up your screen of your laptop. Clean that good. Done. Flip it over. Put the battery back in. It's going to click. And it's in. Next, do a power supply. Unravel the cords. Get your paper towel. Probably a clean one. Hold it and drag it through the moist parts of the paper towel. Get that nice and clean. Get the brick part of the power supply, and then do the other side. And don't forget the ends, pretty good. There we go. Now, if you use alcohol and water or alcohol directly, 
and not something like this green cleaner that doesn't disinfect. If you used one of those, your laptop is pretty well disinfected. Uh, it's not something we want to eat off of, obviously, but it's a heck of a lot better than had nothing been done. And the good thing is when I'm all done with the repairs, I'll do the same thing all over again and then provide you with the laptop. Again, this is Kirk with I Recover Data. Stay safe and healthy.